I am top Sanford realtor, Scott Garrison, with Remax Town & Country. We're at 1606 South Palmetto Avenue, Sanford, Florida, 32771. If you're looking for this home here on Palmetto, home in the Sanford Historic District, or home here in East Orlando, call me, 407-339-3200. This is a video tour, this vacant totally renovated home built in 1930 cute as a button so why are we going to walk away from the home well the purpose of this video is to show you what you can't see looking at the best pictures online on google realtor.com zillow and how do i know because i am the one who took and posted those pictures so this video is to give you a feel for the question that I get a lot people call from up north what's the neighborhood like what's it like to live there so it's a Thursday afternoon about two o'clock we're at the corner of Palmetto and East 16th Street three lots away near but not in the Sanford historic district we got a red-shouldered hawk in the tree right there. Part of the nature of Sanford, being near Lake Monroe. So you'd like to be near the historic district, but not in the historic district. Why is that? Because sometimes in the historic district it can be a little hard if you want to fix up the house. So we're right on the edge. So, coming down from Lake Monroe and downtown Sanford, have you ever been to downtown Sanford? Cute little First Street, East First Street, is where Hollabox Willow, Willow Tree Cafe and Smiling Bison and all of the little bars and restaurants are. And so we go south, First Street, Second Street, Third Street, all the way to 16th Street, just behind us. So we're within walking distance if 16 blocks is walking distance or a very short drive if it's not. So I've been living here for 45 years. I went to Winter Park High School, University of Central Florida. I've been selling real estate here in Sanford for 29 years. Still going strong, obviously committed to the neighborhood. So call me if you have any questions. All right, so we're walking down, get a feel for the neighborhood. Nice wide easements, green grass, quiet. So I was saying, if you look at the different areas of Sanford, what makes them different is they have that old feel at a good price. Oh, we're just one street over the Sanford Historic District. That is the ideal place for you to buy just one block up. So this is because these houses are older, some of them really older, Sanford was actually settled before East Orlando, Christmas Bithlow, because of it's the last navigable point as you go from Jacksonville on the St. John's River south you can take a steamboat, a regular boat, all the way south to Sanford. So that was the end of the line for the steamboats. After that, St. John's River is flat. It's not really navigable. So this was settled a long, 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 long time ago, like 1880s. So we've got older houses. We've got that cute feel. The only place that's similar is downtown Orlando, which you've got some houses like this and all the traffic, and College Park, which is very well known, it's right near downtown Orlando. And both of those were approximately double the cost of being here. Same feel, same neighborhood, much more small towny, small townish here in. Sanford. All right, so I started walking down 16th Street past the church. 
and I stop, but we want to go around to the back of the property as well. Through the miracle of YouTube, you can always fast forward through this. But anybody who's not getting seasick by the shaky camera here is going to want to see kind of what it looks like here. So you're really close to the expressway, which means over Lake, Lake Jessup now, you're really close to I-4, really close to downtown. But a small, that small town feel. Paseo de Dios, Pentecostal, that'll show up on Google Maps if you just Google it. That car, that's mine, it's usually not there. I just parked to be out of the way. We've got squirrels and birds and wildlife. That is the train tracks right there. Train only comes through a couple of times a week. That again is part of that small town charm for sure. So you come into the way we walked, go from the main road down here, and there is your one car carport. We're at the back of our property right here. Got some people who've never bothered to unboard their windows from the last hurricane. Look at that tree. Look at that tree. This is why people want to live here, for sure. Beautiful trees. Quiet, green. All right, so we got a one-car carport. Park right in here. Got a storage area here. And now we're back out front. Your plane landed in the distance from the Sanford International Airport. Got your own airport just a couple of minutes away. Let's go inside and check this one out. As we come in, we say, welcome home. All right, first we got a little living area. This will be the living room, separate from the family room. Closed porch, there's the AC vent. Nice windows, perfect place to read, watch TV, sit out, be able to see the neighbors. And across, we've got bedroom number three, which has no closet, make a great office. Live down town Sanford, want that ambiance, how better to set up your desk right here and have this your view, nice paver driveway, all day long. Of course, we've got the AC vent in here too. It's originally a long time ago as a porch. Remember, this was built in 1930. 1,524 heated square foot. Not smoke alarm, the sound, the vacant house. Like that floor? all the way throughout, and it's brand new. Like those pictures, that ceiling fan, everything's new. How about that kitchen? Oh, that's all new too. New AC, new cabinets, new granite counters, new stainless steel and black appliances. Refrigerator, extra cabinets, even a dishwasher. We are on city water and sewer here. Another advantage, how many homes built in 1930, renovated, and that nice plate glass window, this much light, this much cabinetry, right off the kitchen, beautiful. And what's that? Oh my goodness, it's a tankless water heater. What an upgrade. Brand new, of course like everything else. People want the charm of the older homes. We were just right here a minute ago for the entrance. But they say, but I don't want all the maintenance. Well, what kind of maintenance can you get when you got a new roof, new AC? Things been upgraded, renovated, as nice as you can get. Now we are in a crawl space, so when you walk, the floors are gonna have the little inevitable rises and falls. 
Sometimes we're not used to that, having everything on a concrete slab, but every house built before 1950 or 60 was built on a crawl space. And they all have them. It's part of the charm of the place, including the charm of bedroom number two. We got a smaller closet. That's how they were built in those days. We've got those nine or ten foot ceilings. Ah, let's do the bathroom. Look at that tile. The original doors made of birch from 1930, almost 100 years old, still going strong. That's the charm that you're looking for, right there. Renovated bathroom, nice tile, that tub. Looks like you'll be the first person to take to use it. Look at that woodwork there. And the master bedroom. And we definitely have a bigger closet here. We actually have two closets in here. Bigger space, nice high ceilings. And this is definitely made for California closets. You can put a rack up there, rack down here. We could really turn this into something. We will not be going through there because I've seen a horror movie once. It starts the realtor looking in there never to be seen from again, and then this video becomes found footage instead of, look at this place, how great it is. This whole bath has been added, it's new, lots of extra space there. Glass block gives it a modern touch. Got your own walled off throne. And of course another closet, just begging to be like, updated, fixed up, with extra custom shelves. Very nice. No HOA here, of course. So if you're looking for this house, or if this house is already sold, and you want a house like this, you need to call me, Top Sanford Realtor, Scott Garrison, with Remax Town & Country, 407-339-3200. Let me help you get one like this too, if we can find another one like this at this great price. Thanks.